Then probably get rid it's of these three here. Scientific, this. Mm. <laughs> I do not think that word means what you think it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's got numbers in it. <laughs> and, and that's all. That, that's all it takes. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Science. Recording and welcome back. back on my end. Yeah, and welcome back on my end. <laughs> I'm, See, I, I'm, 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 ke I'm keeping that hiking thing in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, I'm back. I no longer have a second ping. So yes, unfortunately, it means I have to work. <laughs> yeah, the work. I don't know. So yeah. Having a second ping sounds like you should have a better internet than the rest of us. <laughs> oh, English. Yes, Anubis. <laughs> How come that and seems that, to be that... a common phrase in every game I play with people? Oh, yes, Anubis. <laughs> 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 that, that'd be less embarrassing if you weren't a dad. <laughs> well, I think it makes it more awesome. <laughs> My son has it, a great time. <laughs> yeah, it makes it because I'm his basically age. acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So, do you want me to continue this the main platform all the way down towards your drill cell? Uh, I guess so. It's gonna come in one side and go out the other, isn't it? I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> we'll find out when we're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a tiny, tiny little speck of something. Um, well, where is just it? There. It's above my. Let's see if I can position my welders or something immediately. Oh, let's get over here. Oh, I probably should have mentioned this in the last okay, episode, no. but I'm using DX11. Ah. So your Does screen's make a really dark. <laughs> yep. Things are dark. <laughs> Things are dark. Things are dark. But it's, uh... They fixed a bunch of bugs with it in the last... Can two people use it at the same time? Mm, no. Uh, to use that? what? The medical room, I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> there <sorry>. we go. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, they fixed a bunch of bugs with it. I was I was trying it out on the live stream a while back, and it was it would freeze my screen up, my my game up completely for like a good sixty seconds every like couple of minutes. It would just completely freeze. I was basically Boris, and um, <laughs> <laughs> I like how but, that's like a like a, a marker there. How it's just like that's like what you compare to. <laughs> it's right. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, like they fixed a bunch of bugs with it, and I've been trying it out. I started trying it out again yesterday on the live stream I did, and uh, it's worked actually pretty flawlessly. The only problem is the darkness from time to time. Yeah. But I'm learning how to how to control that. Basically, it means I need to bring lights with me sometimes. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Makes sense in space. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's just for recording. It's not so great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, found yeah. this pebble that's stuck in space. Someone with a drill want to come and remove it? Or try? Yep. I haven't got a hand drill to hand. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it, it's tiny. Can you see it right there? I do, So, but if I start drilling this, I'm going to drill your ship. Uh, okay, let me uh, move then. Where's the pebble? Oh, wait, that's not... Oh, it is. I got it. It's... You got it? Cool. <clears throat> it's a, it was a tiny, tiny little speck of rock, sort of floating in midair, and it kept on. My ship kept crashing into oh, it. There's another one right here as well. I can see one actually. I don't know if that's on the edge of this thing though. Oh, all of a sudden, my frames have dropped a lot. I imagine that there's probably a YouTube song out there that somebody's made about. Frames. Well, just frame rates. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh, my sure frames, does my exist. Frames. Especially for space engineers. Because this game, I, I have no clue. Like, this game is just like. It's so unstable. 
Well, I've had a lot less trouble with this than I have with GTA. I haven't got GTA on PC, so... I wouldn't yeah, know. that game. That game, I, I don't have frame problems with that game, I just have crashing problems with that game. I've been getting... Yeah. The Black game spike. I have crashing issues is with City Skylines at the moment. Oh, yeah? So you... Yeah, I, fin I, I finished that series off, actually. But, um... It's... Yeah, I, there's so many times where I record for, like, an hour, and, like, 50 minutes in or something, it would crash. I Like, I had one recording where it, I did a huge amount of stuff, um... And it crashed before I could save the game. Oh, like, it crashed as I was closing off the episode, pretty much. <laughs> so, oh, I yeah. feel like we're in the same spot here. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so I guess we are just building this all the way to the other side? Is that what we're doing? I guess so. Okay. That's what um, I'm doing. <laughs> I'm building till the hole. Oh, okay, till the hole. just here, but uh, you can do what you want. <laughs> Thanks, Boris. If you if you want to start laying down machinery or structures or anything, Boris, because I think you might have a clearer idea on what we're building than anybody else. Yep. I can weld anything. That also sounds like a song. <laughs> <laughs> I, I operate less on a what we need to do basis and more on what I feel like doing. So if I get bored of something, then the project stops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that. Can anybody say fairy? Fairy? <laughs> fairy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was an inside joke. <laughs> well, I, I started to build inside. a space fairy, and I ah. left it about a year, probably. <laughs> no, it, it's not that long. Maybe eight months. Uh, and then eventually, it's it's now redundant the idea because the game updated so much that yeah, well the yeah. autopilot stuff made it made it so simple to do now. So now I can't finish it even if I wanted to because if I did, I'd get angry YouTube comments. <laughs> well, if you redesign it to use, actually, one of my commenters was saying that we could actually do the ferry on this server and it would be a lot less time and effort because of the waypoint system. Like you just have to build it and then let it fly from place to place and pick people up and... Yep. I guess that's what we can do with this station. Yeah. Yeah, make it a ferry port station where people can yep. all convene. Like, there's maybe one that just flies around everybody's base and... you like It's like a bus where, you know, it, it shows up at this time every day and you can just jump on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make it a, a sort of super fast ship. But we'll have to get Mir to... Um, to, to get the system running because then it'll be efficient and always on time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we um, may need to... I guess we build what we need to and then evaluate whether the station's too big. Because if we yeah. keep building, then we end up with like the, the last... like the season one world of this server, not the, the Merry Friends or Motley Space yeah. Crew or whatever you <laughs> whatever call it. Whatever call it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's weird how you guys all call it Merry and Friends. Well, mine is actually <laughs> called the Motley Space Crew, but... Uh -huh. I'll, I'll say, I think I said that in one of my episodes. It makes me feel important. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, at the time, I didn't know anyone other than you, so yeah. it was Merry and Friends, and then it seemed a bit <laughs> rude, so I changed it to the Merry Friends. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just ignore everyone else. Yep. Well, I think we'd, um, it was something we were discussing. I remember me and you talking about it, Boris, when on one of our episodes where you were saying about the title uh, when yep. Mary wasn't there. And it was a weird title to call it uh, Mary and Friends when Mary wasn't there. And we settled yep. on Mary Friends at that point. Yeah. So yeah. I, I changed my uh, <laughs> the series title right there and then in the video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love the way that you, whenever somebody doesn't show up, though, for a recording, how you just, like, cross them off the list. That I, <laughs> on the <laughs> thumbnail. Like, right on the thumbnail, there's, just, like, this red line. It's like, <laughs> no, they're gone. <laughs> it cracks me up every time. <laughs> uh, it's annoying, though, because it means I have to do more work. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know that you're, actually, your favorite part of YouTube is thumbnails, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
They, they are an abomination on mankind. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> Oh, right. I'm lagging like crazy in the moment. All right, I'm oh, ready. Okay. Like, if, we've, if this is how big our what platform is going to go. So explain it to me again, Boris, and I'll help you build it. Uh, I'm drilling. Okay. Uh, That's you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll just finish this line, but... Um, how, big, how big do we want it, to have, or so I guess, all I need to know is how far apart do connectors need to be from each other? Well, that, that uh, depends maybe. on how the size limit of the ships. Yeah. We could maybe use the Ugly Barry as a guide. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty big ship. Uh, so we're that seemed, that... yeah. But do you reckon Eight. you can get 12 Ugly 12 Barries in size, here? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I wasn't thinking about inside here. The, like the inside, I think, I like Sal's idea of making the inside for small ships. So um, what make, maybe... The large ones would have to be, like, Scattered like around. sticks sticking out the side. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's see here. So if we, if we went all the way around the hole as the center, and we went up, down, left, right, so we can go one ship straight above, one ship straight below, left, right, and then in the corners. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight ships. We'd Maybe. have to minimize the amount of connectors we use. Uh, not connectors. Uh, conveyors. Yeah. Because but that's the, a lot the tubes of aren't. I'm very friendly, performance-wise. Yeah, it's still not friendly, unfortunately. But we're gonna have to move <coughs> this platform, I think. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> what this colorful one? <laughs> this colorful one. Well, oh, actually, okay. maybe that's the next job. Is we actually find a place inside here that we're gonna make the assembly room, and then we just move it in, and we get rid of it. It seriously looks like a bag of Skittles just baffed all over this. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's. <sighs> <clears throat> I, I, I really can't put my hand, like, my finger on it, like, why? <laughs> yeah. Act of vandalism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. There's, uh, it, it may or, uh, I, I don't want to, you know, say, you know, place any blame or say, say any names, but it, but his, uh, his Spider name might have started with Drunk Spider-Man, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sal briefly explained why it was so colorful. <laughs> I've already grassed him up. Yep. But yeah, now I'm just thinking of Skittles when I look at that. So how, where would the, so, okay, so the small ship, if we say small ships land in the front part here, and then we make the entrance, um, how far in do we want to make for small ships? So if that's the top there, maybe where the, so if I go. Probably around about where you are. If I make a line in the sand. Yeah. Right here. So then from there forward is all for small ships. Right. That would be a dock. Is that too big? If that's going to hold all small ships, then probably well, not. It's going to hold, yeah, ships that come and dock that want to be here at the same time, basically. Um, okay, so this is just for... Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's probably about the size because, you know, you never know. Like, you... How many are going to be there? So you need to at least be able to facilitate a few ships. Right. <clears throat> so if, if we make that where... Like, that basically should be the line where the inside building starts and the airtight area starts. And okay. Do you, what about um, individual docking ports for... So that everybody's got their own dedicated uh, docking site for small ships. So that would be 12, was it? Did Boris say? Yeah, that... 12, but we might want to... Uh, don't want to spoil anything about possible people joining, uh -huh. but there might be. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. we need to leave room for expansion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So 12 is... Um... So on this small dock area, we need to have enough room for 12 small ships at the same time. That's the goal? Yeah. Yep. Yes. So let me, let's just paint. So. Let's just paint. <laughs> well, I'm going to paint where I think, like, how big maybe things should be, and then we can well, figure out. Here's a small ship. Whoa. My favorite color is blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if we say that's the width of one, then you might want to leave it 
until... Yeah? Oh, yeah. I was actually about to paint there. So look at that. We're on the same page. Let's it's see how many side. ships that, that makes if we make it that wide. So one on each side. We probably can... I guess, yeah, one on each side so you can get two ships. So how far away is that from the other line? Oh, it's counting time. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so seven gap, seven in between. So one, two. So then that would be the new line of the next set of ships. And what, then you can probably get two ships per section? Maybe three? Depending on the size. Well, yeah. Do we need to cut these right in half? I guess. Like, like if you cut them directly in half, yeah. Probably do. I want to make sure there's enough room. So yeah. Now I need to count again. So. Well, we can extend this first one. Can we extend the first one out, or will that not look very good? What do you mean? Uh, make this rectangular out the front. Mm -hmm. I'll bring my welder. Yeah, you could. Place some yeah, blocks. Not. But will it look a bit silly having it sort of poking out the end, or do we want it nah. to be completely inside? Like, you can make it kind of... Like, under on the underneath, you could kind of curve the metal under, like to go yeah. back towards the uh, asteroid to make it kind of look a bit more nicer instead of just a straight edge. And that will work. Okay. So then we can get rid of this... And probably get rid it's of these three here. Scientific, this. Mm. I do not think that word means what you think it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's got numbers in it. <laughs> and, and that's all. It, that, that's all it takes. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Science. <laughs> or if I was going to uh, start channeling Jesse Pinkman, it'd be Science, bitches. Yeah. All right, so is that one, two, three? That's only six. <laughs> was that uh, six? Was that? Did six I count wrong? On the other, <laughs> the other side, because we've got the other side of the asteroid as well, so we could have six or, on one side and six the other. You guys, we're thinking very two-dimensional right now. What if the other six uh, are up there? On the ceiling. <laughs> that could work. Have it like, yeah, because if there's no gravity in here, yeah. Well, then if you did have gravity, then you just people have to have landing gears and they just land it on the oh, roof. Oh, I, I am an expert at making change in gravities in my bases. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, landing gears in multiplayer, though, are a bit not really an option. Um, but connectors, you can land to a connector anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I think that's what we were planning, right? Was connectors? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, landing gears. They're they're talking about a fix to landing gears that should actually make and, them work again. But and wow. and the rest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that? Sorry. And the rest would be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be nice if uh, the actual games or the features in the game are actually usable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind them if they kind of went back and properly like restabilized the game instead of adding things. Although the last time they did a bug fixing um, month it went or really whatever, it, went, yeah. it got even worse. It got even worse. <laughs> um, hang on, Anubis. I'll, I'll tell you how high the roof. Or do you actually want it all the way up there? Well, uh, that was my plan at the moment, but if, if you guys think that's much... That seems a lot of space in between <laughs> to fill. <laughs> <laughs> Most well, people are flying down. very tall ships, <laughs> but very thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it is just gravity to get out. So you jump out of your ship and you fall to your death. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, I I was thinking take the bottom and flip it the other way so that when you get out of your ship, you there's two floors basically yeah. facing yeah. one another, and another then plane. on the top you'd yeah you'd walk in here and then there'd be a gravity change. But I was I going like to idea. see how tall this would need to be. 
Yeah, I was just second. building for a bit, and then we can kill the. But I'm just making Sorry, yeah, I, I, I was um, talking to myself for a bit, like a, my <laughs> microphone was muted, and I didn't know how much you missed of what I said, so I just repeated it all. Oh, okay. Oh, you missed all of it. <laughs> that was all new. Yeah, yeah um, that was all new. I'll not weld until you're comfortable with your scaffolding designs. And I'll just sit back and watch. Yeah. <laughs> so you're now Boris. Yep, I now take the Boris's place. <laughs> and with that revelation is the end of the episode. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, guys. Bye, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Goodbye.